everyone. I'm happy to have this opportunity to talk to you about OpenVX. It's a very um, good audience because OpenVX is a standard that's been developed by the embedded vision community for the embedded vision community. So we hope it's going to be relevant to what you're trying to do and your business. And if it isn't, please let us know why. Um, as Jeff said, OpenVX is a Kronos API, uh, the two-minute in introduction to Kronos, in case you haven't um, come across us before, is we're an open standards organization. We're open to any company that wants to participate, to join. We have about 120 companies right now, uh, everyone from Google and Apple, all the way down through the silicon vendors, middleware vendors, application vendors, and a good quorum of uh, the silicon community building processors for uh, vision processing. Uh, we tend to focus on APIs that connect software to silicon. It's the acceleration APIs. It's the silicon community coming together to figure out how to expose the good silicon that we're building to application and middleware uh, developers. Uh, we develop specs and conformance tests. And you know, it is intended to be uh, the place where uh, the community comes, the industry comes to build the standards that we need to build our, uh, our business. We have about 12 or 13 active standards in development right now. We have what I call the visual computing standards, the OpenGL, OpenGLES for 3D, OpenCL for compute. We have some web APIs lifting the 3D and compute uh, native functionality into JavaScript for the web. Uh, we have some standards that are actually not APIs, Cloud and GLTF for 3D authoring and transmission formats for 3D uh, graphics. And then last but not least, uh, the newest wave of Kronos APIs are the input APIs, uh, the camera control, the vision acceleration, and the sensor fusion APIs. Uh, I think they're probably the most relevant to this community. So that's where we're going to be focusing uh, this, this session today.